guys, what's up? Sermo11 here, and today me and Mason are going to talk about E3 and Nintendo and Nintendo Direct and all that. What's up, everybody? What's your channel, Mason? You should already know it's my name, Mason Clayton. I thought it was Master You today. Nah, just forget about Master You today. I mean, you could say it, you could like search that, but. You know how Google is, they change your name to your actual real name because of Google Plus. Oh yeah, you can do that now. So, boom. But uh, follow me on Twitter, Speed178. Yeah, follow him on Twitter. You can follow me too at Melon2898, but you probably don't want to. I tweet a lot. So, with this Nintendo Direct, I feel like Nintendo started off really strong with the first three games. We got Pokemon X and Y, Super Mario 3D World Wii U, and Mario Kart 8. And with Pokemon X and Y, we have a new type, which is something they haven't done with the Pokemon series since second generation. And for me, this is like mind blowing. What do you, you say? Let me stop you right there. Nintendo did not start off good because of the lag. Yeah, the stream was terrible. Um, I was waiting, I, I woke up early this morning, I was waiting for Nintendo, and then I had a countdown clock and everything, and then I was waiting, and the, what? All the, all the lag, and then, it, did, it didn't even start, that's all I can say. Yeah, like the page was reloading constantly, I'm just thinking, oh, maybe they're a little bit late, and then I get on Twitter, and it's almost like fairy type, Pokemon X and Y, I'm like, what, what's going on? And then someone gave me the. That's the problem, bro. I was missing it. Someone gave me the UK link. Now, yeah, I had to, too. now, as I was saying, Pokemon X and Y, a new fairy, a new type. That's mind blowing for me. And I know Mason's not like a big fan of Pokemon, but this is awesome. And then we got some new Pokemon. Some of the old Pokemon uh, now have the fairy type, like uh, Garnabar and Meryl, and. Even at the end of the trailer, I noticed they said the, the series, something about the series evolving. So I was just thinking, perhaps they'll take it a step further. Maybe we'll have some fusions or something. And the games are coming out worldwide October 12th, so I won't really get spoiled on anything. Did you have any thoughts on that? Or? I like it, Pokemon. Uh... X and Y? Yeah, Y. You might yeah, return it. He'll return it, though. He'll be like, oh, I beat the game. I don't need it anymore. Returning like you did with black and white trader. Only black. I only, only got uh, black. I got. I mean, the game is cool. It's an actual decent turn based game because the rest of the world uh, turn based like Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest. Only thing is, to a turn based, you got to actually get into the story board. I mean, to the story mode. But Pokemon, on the other hand, gets you a little twist. Instead of just Mr. Yeah, I'm kind of like, uh, I hate turn-based games, but then I play Pokemon. Uh, it's just something about Pokemon is different, and I wouldn't want to play the earlier on Final Fantasy games. I think one thing that really draws me to the Final Fantasy series is that the, the cutscenes. Like, I think they have, like, another company to do the cutscenes, and the cutscenes just look so realistic and so amazing. It's just... Mind That's blowing. the eyes. What'd you say? It's the, uh, the cinema. Yeah. Um, moving on to the next game, we have Super Mario 3D World Wii U. Another amazing yeah. game. That looks actually awesome, but all I can say is Cat Mario is GD. Have you played you it? You crawl to a wall. And going up, if you can't even make up to a pole at the top, you can just crawl up there. That is so much cheating. I think everybody's gonna like this the same way how the uh, the retro, no, what was it? Uh, what was it? Or up the, the uh, which game? It's for like Super Mario 3 and New Super Mario Bros. Evo uh, 2. Oh, I don't know about those, but I know there was one like where a propeller thing, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about, the Tanuki suit? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, the Tanuki. Yeah, that's, that's what I said earlier. 
I know everybody likes that. And I'm guessing a lot of people's gonna like Cat Mario. And I ain't talking about that Flash Cat Mario game. What? Dude. What's that? You haven't played the uh, Flash Cat Mario. Never heard of it. Dude, it's one of those frustrating Mario games that some fan person made. It is like one of those impossible games. Mario's frustrating anyway. That's why I only play the spinoffs. Have you played the Mario 3D game for DS, 3DS? Super Mario 3D Land? Yeah. Yeah, I completed it 100%. Yeah, I might have to try that, because this looks, the, the Wii U one looks really good. I like the Cat Mario thing, you know, it can climb up walls and stuff. I think it'll really switch up the Mario gameplay. And I think I actually heard Mario say, like, meow or whatever, uh, like cats and stuff. That's crazy. That's all I can say. And then you have Peach in there, and then I haven't really seen that many Mario games where Peach is an actual playable character. And I think uh, she was doing like fire attacks, and that's kind of cool too. Going on to the Super Mario 2 parts, because you was able to play as Mario, Luigi, Toad, it's Peach. They're getting that back. My question is though. If Princess Peach is not being kidnapped, who's the uh, person that we're saving now? I don't know if we're saving anyone. Bowser might just be the, the villain, I don't know. He's, he's done other stuff, because you know, like in uh, Paper Mario, or maybe the RPG series. I'm not too sure what happened before the third game in the RPG series. I don't know if Bowser was the villain or not, but I know um, there, there's definitely different things they can do with Mario Luigi and Bowser without involving Peach. My only guess is that probably uh gonna have Daisy somewhere. I guess that would be okay. I don't know. Have they ever done that? In uh Super Mario the Game Boy. Oh. All right. So uh, you you done with that? Yeah. Let's uh, go on to the next game. Yeah. So we're gonna move on to Mario Kart Eight. Mario Kart 8, Nintendo, yes, nice work. About time they're going to show up another game. It's obvious that they have to have Mario Kart in every game. Well, Mario, Kart's a, uh, Mario Kart comes out on every system only once, I think. Not the uh, NES, they didn't make one for the NES. Uh, I, don't, I didn't really like the Mario games back then. So we have uh, another new type of cart thing they're adding into the game. Uh, we have hover carts, which allow you to defy gravity. And I think that might even give you a speed boost. I'm not too sure, but uh, in the trailer they showed the carts flying off and stuff. Dude, that is awesome. I know. And then the bikes and the gliders are back too. Of course, they would have the gliders on it. They, they couldn't take that away. Bikes are awesome. Like people are always saying, bikes are terrible because they, you can go faster with a, um, a bike. But I, I love the bikes. I wish they were on the, uh, the 3DS version. They weren't on the 3DS version, were they? No, not Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 7 is good too. By the way, I'm like the fastest player in the world. I don't mean to brag, but uh, you guys want to race me? I think his name is uh, his Twitter name, I believe. Who, me? For intent for the his 3ds, I mean. Oh my no, god. His, uh, his code. His code. I forgot the 3ds don't have that Nintendo network. Yeah. Oh, in fact, they did not even announce that yet. What is Nintendo I, network? <laughs> rumors about YouTube might be on 3ds, Hulu, or their Nintendo network ID. That might, they have to have. Nintendo Network ID on the 3DS. I'm not trying to down Nintendo, but some of the things they're trying to put on the 3DS don't really make any sense. Like, have, do you have do you have Netflix on your 3DS? I don't have a Netflix account. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how good that will look on the 3DS. There's just some things that don't look too good on the system. Well, obviously, it's not all HD. Plus, I don't think it's 3D either. Yeah, 3D's not the, the main point for me. It's just, it's gotta look good. 
Come on, Mason. You said you wouldn't do this. Listen. Just chill. That, that was, uh... <laughs> okay, uh... Sorry. They're like... Mario Kart 8. Graphics look amazing. Um, my friend Jeremy, he's, like, really into graphics, and he thinks Nintendo's not the best with graphics, but I think they did a really good job with all these, most of these games, and, um, cutscenes or whatever, the trailer, the, uh, the gameplay just looked great. Dude, most of these gamers here now and then only pay attention to the graphics. If there is a really bad game but has super graphics, they will still get it. They'll waste their money on just that. But to actually get into the game, you have to uh, understand the gameplay. Mario Kart 7, this is basically like the 360 or PS3 uh, graphics or somewhat more better. Yeah, I mean, Nintendo stepped it up. Wii U has HD graphics, so you can't really just say Nintendo's behind now in the graphics war or whatever. But obviously, they're still going to survive for like another five years until they stop making the 360 uh, games for PS3. Xbox One? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about that now. Or ever. <laughs> so, Mario Kart 8 also um, introduces racing upside down. I, that looks cool, but I hope it's just a mode in the game. I hope it's not, like, the main focus of the game. Because it seems like with the recent Mario Kart titles, they're always trying to have a focus. In Mario Kart 7, you know, we had the hang glider. We had the racing underwater. They really emphasized that. And I think that was in, I think that was in most of the courses, too. And... I don't want to race upside down. Maybe you can make like uh, a trail that goes off of the track or something for people who want to do that. But I kind of hope that's just a mode or something. Maybe they're expanding what they do with Mario Kart and adding different stuff. Mason, anything? All I can say is Mario Kart 8 kind of have a Mario Galaxy style because when they showed the going up in the air and going upside down and, and roads, I'm personally had some sort of speech for Mario Galaxy, which is still cool, but in a way, you know what I'm saying? You're saying it's similar to Mario Galaxy in some ways? Yeah. I guess with the the flying kind of uh, you know with the hovering, I guess that's kind of similar. Mario right. flies around in Mario Galaxy, shoots from different stars. Yeah, uh, we're gonna move on to the next game, and uh, we party you. I don't. I didn't really want to discuss this. I just think I think it looks good, but I don't want it. Um, that's the uh, basically. Mario Party right there. I think that, well, they should try to make the franchises different, Wii U and Mario Party, because they're still continuing both. And I like how they have different games on the gamepad. And they're, they're still trying to push, like, um, Wii Party and Wii Fit. I, I'm not into that. Like, at the first time with the Wii Party on the Wii, um, I learned that that was just, like, a, a party type of game. Like, um, what was it? Wii Sports. You know, they included that with the system. Um, it was a really good seller because apparently if you include a game with the uh, console, that's the exact same thing as buying it. I, I don't know. that Those games just aren't for me. I mean, there's no online either. There's nothing really you can do with it. I also like how... It's all, go it's ahead. It's all like... Uh, a family type game. You know how Nintendo is. They have their games just for having I mean, other family friends to come along and play. I mean, it's usually like how they how it is in the back then before they had all this online interaction. Yeah, I, I agree. I totally agree with that. But now I feel like online is just a requirement for games. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna buy a game for fifty dollars and you're not. 
that you don't have online. You're gonna have to have some amazing story or something. Like I would at least like to have the option of an online mode. Like uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, for example. How much is that game? Forty dollars or something? Uh, I think price down. Yeah, the, the price is down now, but I think the norm, normal price is like forty dollars or something. And uh, it was a great game, a good story and everything. And you know, it has no online mode. I messed around with that a little bit, got my butt kicked, and I never went back. So I would just like the option of an online mode because uh, without an online mode, it, it just feels like a party family game and it shouldn't be as expensive as Nintendo has the, um, as Nintendo usually has them. Like with the, uh, what was the sequel to Wii Sports? Wii Sports Resort, that was pretty expensive. Like I think that was full price like uh, other games. It doesn't, it didn't deserve to be that high. Wii Sports Resort was cool. Oh, but that, I mean, it's, it's a cool sports game to play. Besides just the actual Wii Sports that they uh, launched it when the Wii U came, when the Wii came up. But for that reason, if they have Wii Sports Resort, they got other sports games like the Sword, the Sword Fighting, uh, Frisbee, uh, Basketball. Some of the requirements sports that other people like to play, besides just actually playing some sort of 2K type games where you need the controller instead of actually playing it for real. I mean, yeah, it, it was a fun game, but what if you don't normally have people coming over your house? Like, I don't normally have anyone coming over my house. I don't need Wii Party or Wii, uh, Wii Sports Resort. I don't need that because I don't like playing by myself all the time. Um, I did like the sword fighting. I played it a few times over a friend's house. Sword fighting was fun. Um, I think basketball was okay. And, um, yeah, that's about it. But going back to the Wii Party stuff, I like how Nintendo is taking advantage of the gamepad, just putting games on that. But there's one thing that they really need to take advantage of. The gamepad is pretty much an iPod iPad, some kind of mobile device. We need exclusive games on there. Nintendo needs to make some kind of app store. Like, they could put Angry Birds or whatever. I know some people just hate Angry Birds, but I like it. I own all six Angry Birds games. I think they need to put, uh... You said something? Yeah. Have you not noticed about the eShop? It's basically their app store, somewhat app store. They have arcade games, they have indie games. You can download other games, actual console games, like when Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker HD comes out, you'll be able to download that. It's it just, with, yes. Isn't it just now, Gamepad is somewhat like a iPad. I, I agree on that, but having them with a 3DS, which you're able to play with, both the TV and the Wii U gamepad, I can just say that that's somewhere with the giant bonus 3DS right there. Uh, let me see, what do I have to add on that? Um, it's like a tablet. Uh, oh yeah, you were saying that they do have games on there and stuff. Yeah, they have games on there, but they don't have, like, mobile games, like iOS games, Android games. We need stuff like that. Um, I know some people just hate it. I don't know why, but Nintendo, you need to be, Nintendo needs to be in every market. It helps if you appeal to different types of gamers and not just one crowd. And maybe some people want games on their, um, Wii U. But, I mean, Mason knows more about the Wii U than me, because he owns one and I don't. Um... So, anyway, uh, they're adding Art, Art Academy to the Miiverse because they noticed all the art on there. I think that's pretty cool, you know. People, uh, like with Flipnote Studios, people had, we had small tools and stuff, but people created amazing things on there. The same with Miiverse. So, it's just nice that they're adding different features with Art Academy and stuff. I really don't understand how these people are actually drawing that, like, how they actually had all those shadows and uh, details into one drawing. They don't have that much uh, options for it, for uh, the Miiverse uh, acti activity feeds. All it is is just a pin and an eraser. You just have black and white, right? Other... Huh? You just have black and white, right? No, it's just a, a pin and an eraser. 
it depends on how the size is, what size you want it to be. That's the only option they got. I mean, you can do a lot with that. I mean, yeah, but that's one of those, uh, you know, They don't have to be uh, Japanese, Mason. Racist. What? Did you say Japanese? Most of them were Japanese. Uh, what happened? We froze. Okay, guys, uh, Mason froze, and we're gonna wait for him. See, uh, where this goes? Okay, Mason has now left the call. Um, thanks for watching, and this is the first part of our Nintendo E3 discussion. I don't know if I'll add these clips together or not, but eventually he'll return, and we'll continue where we left off. Thanks for watching. Um, all our... Wait, no, no. Never mind. What are you Mason is back. Hey. What, what, what are you doing? What do you mean? It's something that you just done. Just I didn't do off. anything. Okay, it was probably like... Okay, we were talking about Art Academy. Um, you're being racist. Japanese people. Yeah. You're being racist. Okay, Mason. It's okay. <laughs> okay, now, now you're being an <laughs> Alright, okay. Next game. Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker HD. Uh, let me see. I talked about that later, but, uh, where did I put that? Um, I'm not a huge fan of Zelda, but I think it looks great. I, one of the things that really draws me, well, one of the things that really drew me to Wind Waker as a kid, but I, I never got the game because I didn't have a GameCube, is the art design. The art is really good, and it's really, uh, more attractive than the other Zelda games, I would have to say. Uh, you should be able to, you should get uh, Skyward Zord. At least that's a more interactive game to play. I didn't like Twilight Princess, but I, I didn't finish that. It what? I didn't finish Twilight Princess. It was dark and gritty. I, I, I couldn't get into it. I, I felt like the controls were kind of bad. It's, it was called Twilight Princess for a reason. Hey, shut up. Zelda's just not my thing. I play a mobile Zelda game. Um, well, not mobile. I say handheld because, you know, everyone hates iOS games. You can't say mobile now. You just want to play the easy stuff. Those aren't exactly easy. I mean, they're also, they're hard too, but not as hard as the console titles, I guess you could say. I should try Ocarina. Yeah, play Ocarina. That is an easy game to play. Graphics, you know, kind of old. That's an old game. And any, it's N64 game, dude. That's that's in the past. Okay, I'm just joking now. I, I might play it eventually, people. Don't don't get too serious. So you're gonna get. Wait, no, no, no. There was um. Yeah, Nintendo. They they show really like an impressive an impressive lineup for the the Wii U and 3DS. One game I'm going to get for the lineup. Sonic Lost World. The Mario Galaxy of Sonic. Sonic Lost World. It looks, Everybody say that. Yeah, I know. It looks really nice, though. But, then again, how many Sonic games have I actually played? I, I got Sonic 1, if that counts, you know. Owning a Sonic game. Yeah. Uh, what's your what's your thoughts on Wonderful One One? Um, I like how they can transform into different things and fight monsters and bad guys. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm really into how they added a one on there because the, the extra one is you. I mean that that's okay, but you could have left it at the one wonderful, wonderful one on one hundred or whatever. Um, I mean it looks cool. I, I might check it out. What about you? I might, if they have a demo for it, I might check that out as well. Yeah, we need some. They, why do they have all the demos at Best Buy and stuff? They need to put the demos on the eShop. On the, yeah, the eShop is for 3DS and Wii U. So, yeah, they need to put some demos on the eShop. That'd be pretty cool. Um, do you want to go see? Do you really want to play some broken ass game? 
because these are developing demos. Wonderful One on One is coming out this year. It's, it's probably near completion or, or almost done. It is, I believe. Did you guys see Deathstroke slash Slade fight Batman? That that was awesome. I haven't played the Batman games, but that looked really good. Batman Arkham Origins is one of those required games that everybody's going to get. It's, it has to be required. It's the third game in the series, right? Yeah, Arkham Board, I mean, Arkham Cities was one of the hits. It was like a game of the year, sort of, or game of the month. Those are very different categories, Mason. <laughs> okay. You have a very good death to Batman, fighting, uh, fighting Joker, as always. And they had a new download content where you'd be able to play as Robin. And Was it Robin or Nightwing? No, it, it was Robin. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, it was Nightwing, too. I was oh. saying, there's a difference. <laughs> There's like five Robins. Like, I don't know if you guys are really into uh, the whole DC thing. There's like tons of versions of the superheroes and sidekicks. Yeah. Uh, Have you, um, there was one game that was really, uh, really big. Shovel Knight, um, they had a Kickstarter, and it's coming to the Wii U, I believe. It, uh, it's another title I'm looking forward to. Uh, I believe it's kind of like a platformer. Uh, I'm, I'm a big platformer fan, and it looks nice. I mean, there's, there's not that much to say about it. It has uh, sprites. It's not like a 3D game or anything. 2D sprites, which is still like, something good to use. Like, sprites aren't dead, that, in my opinion. You know, Pokemon, they use 3D now, but there are some games that still can go with 2D and make it work. What game were you talking about? Shovel Knight? You haven't heard about it? I think I did hear about it. Uh, it's, it's memorable. I think it's going to be cool. Because it, it got tons of money. Like, went over the, uh, the the goals. It got some stretch goals. Hit those, too. Uh, next game, Donkey uh, Kong. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country's Tropical Freeze. Yeah. Donkey Kong is one of Nintendo's franchises that's been back for a while. But I feel like Nintendo is still neglecting their older series. Um, this didn't really... This wasn't really a... This really... What am I trying to say? I wasn't aware of this until I was like checking out what some other people thought about the Nintendo Direct. And I kind of agree with them. I would actually like to see Star Fox and F-Zero. Those are games I've never played. And they look interesting, but they haven't had games in years. Uh, I think the last Star, uh, Star Fox game was um, a remake or something. Uh, Star Fox 64 3D. Yeah, on the 3DS. It's, they need to do more with their series. It feels like Nintendo just forgets about their series. They haven't forgot it. I'm pretty sure later on they're gonna have more games. Um, like, I would actually understand Star Fox will be an actual good game for the Wii U. Cause you know I, I mean if, I know you haven't played Star Fox uh, 64, but for the 3DS, it, it had a good depth to it. Now having that said, like I said to the Wii U, the ginormous uh, 3DS to it. Uh, that could, that could be like a good compatible to the game pad with Star Fox. Uh, is there any gameplay where they actually get out of their plane ship thing and fight people? Uh, no. That's something they could add. Like, um, I, I don't know what exactly they do, but I guess they go to different planets and stuff, or, you know, they fight other ships and stuff. What if it's like a big ship? They can go inside there and fight. I don't know. There's stuff they can add to their series. Um, but that was, that was on uh, Star Fox Adventures and Star Fox Assault. They were both on the GameCube. Yeah, I didn't own a GameCube. I had Game Boy yeah. Advance. Um, 
wow, we went completely off the topic. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong, uh, uh, and I have a Skype message, uh, of course. Donkey Kong games really aren't my type of thing. They're pretty hard. Like, I played a demo of one of the Donkey Kong Country Return games uh, in GameStop. I had trouble with the game. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But I, the trailer looked really nice, and they had dynamic. And it's not an advanced, hardcore gamer, just to let y'all know. I'm pretty hardcore, guys. I'm pretty hardcore. Because uh, when I, I get on... Played, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns for 3D. I mean, 3D. 3DS. Uh, yeah. The new version, it's... I recommend you play the 3D version because it's more easy for you. The Wii, it's hard. Yeah. I don't have to say it's hard. The I mean, Wii version is what I played. That's hard. Huh? Yeah, I was saying the Wii version is what I played, and that's hard. Um... It's a backup with you. And he said, I'm a, not an advanced gamer, but, you know, if you get on Club Nintendo, they rank me as an advanced gamer. And those surveys, I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, that, has, that has nothing to do with you playing games. Yes, it does, because I've registered ton of, tons of games on there. I really enjoyed the dynamic angles in the game, um, the Donkey Kong game. And, you know, Dixie Kong is back. I don't really know how many of the characters you could play with uh, before Donkey Kong Country Returns as, as a series, but um, they're adding characters back. Um, I guess me and Mason might try out the Donkey Kong game. Probably he'll probably help me because I suck at Donkey Kong. <laughs> really, I need help. With, I need help with Mario too. I'm like a terrible gamer <laughs> with some games. So, we're, we're almost done, but we have a few more games to talk about. Um, have you played Bayonetta? Yes, Bayonetta is awesome. He's played it? Say. Yeah, not just because uh, Bayonetta is some sexy chick, a witch, I mean. I just She's been, actually a witch. I looked at the, um, I saw the trailer and stuff. The cutscenes or whatever trailer, it looked great, Bayonetta 2. But I don't really like the shorter haircut. Um... Her whole clothing is made out of her own hair. Yeah, that's what it seems like, but... How can you have a short haircut then? That doesn't make any sense. She's a witch. Where does it connect then? Um, she says she's a witch. That, that makes no sense, but... I guess I'll have to play it eventually. Um, I like longer hair better. And the dude with the mask in the trailer, he was really cool. I always love when um, people introduce characters with masks and stuff, and it gives them a uh, mystery, and maybe he'll be the villain or something in the game. And when Bayonetta was firing her bullets at him, he stopped it with some sort of Star Force. Force. Star Force. You do know Star Wars. That you, you do know that in Bayonetta, you're fighting angels. What does that mean? What are you As telling in, me? You're basically in in other people's opinion, like some Christians. Does she work with the think, devil or something? Huh? Does she work with the devil or something? <laughs> Somewhat. If you play Bayonetta on the uh, 360 or PS3, you'll pretty much understand. Uh. <sighs> I don't really like that. When people feel so strongly about the religion, they have to, you know, take offense to everything. You need to chill out. Okay. Okay, Melvin, let's not talk about that right now. <laughs> we're, we're talking about these here. Okay, yeah, we're, we're not going to talk about that. Um, next game, X, or Xenoblade 2. I don't know what they're going to call the game, but in the trailer it said X, and I, I'm just, a lot of people are assuming that it's Xenoblade 2. Graphics, it, amazing. Gameplay, amazing as well. Plus, they have mechs. That's something. And you, that some of what Titanfall. Okay, well, that, well, let's not talk about that. Is that well? Actually, Titanfall. If that's on the Wii U, maybe I don't know. 
Is that on another? Wait, that was at the Microsoft thing, wasn't it? It was on the Microsoft, but it was also on Ubisoft as well. Uh, yeah, I didn't see much of Ubisoft. I believe. Okay, what's it Ubisoft or E3? I mean, not E3, EA. EA and Ubisoft were together. Uh, either way. Okay, uh, so we're about to talk about the main game that stole the show. At the end, a Smash Brothers 3DS and Wii U. Yes. Another okay. amazing title by Nintendo. I'm guessing that's what it's just going to be called. Super Smash Brothers 3DS and Super Smash Brothers Wii U. It's coming out next year, I believe, so... No, they still have, they still have time to make a title. Some people were thinking Universe or something. I you, guess... I guess, uh... You know... It's just 3DS and Wii U. You know, Wii U, Universe, they always have to incorporate the title, the system into the title. I like the new characters. I, I like the new characters. The Animal Crossing Villager... That was epic. Okay, they started it off. Some people were probably thinking, oh, we have another Animal Crossing, maybe one for Wii U. And then the Animal Crossing villager gets a letter. He just runs off, and then they start showing all these different franchises, and then he comes out of nowhere and just hits Mario. That was awesome. But what actually surprised us was the one character that everybody asks for Brawl. Mega Man. Dude, I know my brother, he's so, so surprised when I showed him this trailer. He ain't, uh, he ain't here though, but... Did you see Mega Man take down Mario, Link, and, uh, Donkey Kong, and who else was there? Kirby? That was awesome. <laughs> yes, and he has new power, he has all the power-ups from his, well, from Mega Man 1. All the different powers that he could use. This is gonna, that is awesome. This is going to turn out to be like an awesome game. This is one of those games that you have to buy on both systems. Yes. Smash Brothers. That's the one game I would buy. Well, I'd probably buy Pokemon if it was on Wii U and 3DS too. So, I'm, getting, I'm getting Sonic Lost World for both Wii U and 3DS. Yeah, he's a Sonic fan. I'm a Pokemon fan. You decide which, which one's better. I <laughs> don't Pokemon. So, uh, both of them are good. Yeah, let's let's go with that one. Let's not argue. So, Nintendo announced a ton of games. Um, Smash Brothers is one thing that would definitely influence me to buy a Wii U. But one thing that they did not show, and a lot of people were expecting, was a price cut. So, do you think that the Wii U is overpriced at this point, or no? Compared to the PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah, compared to those systems, it's cheap, it's cheap but... I don't know. But, I would say it's... It, it, it could be at the right price right now. But yeah. later on, it, it, of course, it will be a, a price drop sooner or later. Just give it another year. I wish the Wii U would be like 3DS. 3DS is doing amazing. Now, I don't know what Nintendo's done with the 3DS that makes it any different from the Wii U, but... Oh, yeah, the 3DS has a ton of games, and the Wii U has... It just came out, dude. <laughs> now, I'm just making a joke that everyone else is making. I, I, there are, like, two games on the Wii U that I would get. And I'm talking about before Nintendo Direct and all that. So, we're gonna uh, start concluding this. And one problem I had with the Nintendo Direct was that they could have showed more games. 41 minutes, Sony was two hours. I know some, Sony was kind of boring. Uh, we're not going to talk that much about Sony, but Nintendo. This could have been like an hour or like an hour and 50 minutes. It could have been longer. Um, it was a Nintendo Direct. And yeah. obviously, they could be at the E3. They didn't make an E3 presentation, so. It was the E3 Nintendo Direct. They, they did some big stuff, but they still could have done more. They announced, you know, with all these Nintendo Directs, they don't have that much stuff for E3, but you can show more information about these titles. Um, they announced stuff in previous Nintendo Directs. Um, we could have gotten gameplay or trailers for Pikmin 3. I'm not a Pikmin fan, but 
you know, some people are. Yoshi's Island, I'm playing that on 3DS. I'm really enjoying it. Mario and Luigi Dream Team, uh, Legend of Zelda, whatever the 3DS one is. Like, all these trailers and stuff are coming out after the Nintendo Direct. You can check right now on their Nintendo YouTube channel. There are trailers for games that they didn't even show at, uh... Zelda, a link between worlds. Yeah, I, I I didn't know the name. I forgot. You know that's that's my main problem with it. You could have done more. Uh, and I'm not gonna just say Sony did an amazing job too. They didn't. They uh, Sony's conference for me was pretty much boring until they announced. Hey guys, what's up? Sermo Eleven here. Um, I apologize for the video just ending right there. Uh, this is as much as my iPod could record, and the video is pretty much long enough, uh, just 40 minutes. Um, it's my fault for using my iPod instead of the microphone. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Uh, the last discussion we did, I used a microphone. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, um, I'm sorry if you can hear the music in the background. And then the audio is kind of jumbled up because I try to um, export the video to my laptop and I cannot find the file for a long time and when I eventually found it, the computer kind of froze up so I kind of just closed the video and then I turned the laptop back on and for some reason I couldn't find the video anymore and I plugged it up to the main computer and it didn't work so I don't really know what happened there. I was going to ask um some tech people for professional help but whatever i thought about this and i found a way around it and luckily i found this way before it was too late to upload the video so at the end of the discussion i was saying that sony's conference was pretty much boring until they showed games like final fantasy 15 kingdom hearts 3 and infamous second son um those are definitely three ps4 games i'm interested in but i still kind of want to get a ps three because that might be cheaper uh eventually down the line i don't know but <clears throat> kingdom hearts 3 like the final fantasy 15 trailer looked really nice i really like the cutscenes, the graphics all that stuff I, I know we've been saying that throughout the whole video and um the dude's like we have one more trailer for you today i'm just thinking kingdom hearts and i was getting pumped i was like talking out loud and i normally don't get that pumped for video games or um, most things, and it was Kingdom Hearts 3, even though we only sh got a little bit, uh, graphics look really nice, and I did like the scene where Sora was, Sora was running away from the, uh, the Heartless, and, um, it's also pretty cool that, um, they already have some English voice acting for the games, unless though that voice acting was from previous games, and, um, I, I, I find it hilarious that, uh, Sony was picking on Microsoft. By the way, I still don't want a PS4. If I didn't say that already. I find it hilarious that Sony was picking on Microsoft. Microsoft deserves it. I, I mean, the Xbox One, it seems like it's going to be a total failure. I know some of my friends, they want to get it. I don't know why. They're, they were fans of Microsoft before, so it's kind of like the same with me. I'm The game system I started off with was, was a Nintendo one, so I want to continue with Nintendo. And I guess I don't like that many uh many things on sony or microsoft their systems xbox one just sucks i, I mean it's got to be online every 24 hours and all this unnecessary stuff i don't know why they're doing this someone said they're trying to fight piracy but this isn't the right way to go about it this might be the downfall of microsoft that's what i have to say um to rank e3 I know some people were giving grades and stuff. I'm just going to give numbers. I would say Nintendo got first place. Sony got second place. And Microsoft, you don't get a place. Let's just give third place to Ubisoft. I didn't really watch Ubisoft as I stated in this video. Um, Nintendo, they showed a lot of great things. Things that I would actually buy. Series that I have played or series that I want to try out. Um, I'm a bit biased there, as I said earlier. Because uh, I started with Nintendo and I'm going to continue with Nintendo. Sony, I'm kind of uh, wavering towards the company now. I bought it. I didn't buy a PSP. Someone got it for me, family member, um, for a gift. That's what I asked for. 
and I got Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, but I haven't got any other games for the PSP, which is a problem. Um, and then the Vita is just a failure, even though there's a few games I want to try on, on there. So, you know, Sony, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy XV, Infamous Second Son, really interesting looking games, and that's the main reason I gave Sony second place. Ubisoft, whatever, I don't know what they did there, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Microsoft, Xbox One's a failure, that's the main reason why you got last place. And there was one game there that I thought was interesting, it was uh, kind of a cartoon, cartoony art style, I think it was called Sunset Overdrive, had these people fighting these zombie-like creatures, they didn't really look like actual zombies, you know, the, the stereotypical zombies, and um, it looked pretty cool, he was doing some parkour and stuff. Um, Mason's rank rankings for these might be different. I think we were trying to discuss that and then the video ended, so you can ask him about that. His links will be in the description, and I'll just tell him if you want me to. And I really have to thank anyone who watched this whole video. We had some fun making this video, and I guess it's cool for you guys to hear me when I'm not talking like a robot. Um, most of this video, well, we had notes. That's all we had. We we didn't have like the whole video scripted out so it was more natural and I think some people like videos better that way so our links will be in the description be sure to check out check out Mason's channel and all his stuff and I just thank you for watching this video and later guys